welcome back to another uh, Tips and Tricks Tuesdays with Luke. Um, I know I mentioned that today we're going to be talking about insight and a couple tricks that you can do, um, but I wasn't able to get that video done for you. Um, I am going to be discussing how you can produce a mold on uh, using your 3D printer and then uh, how we basically did it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that mold. All right, so what we have here is a 3D printed mold that was done on our polyjet machine, okay? Um, as you can see, we, we did a glossy finish and that was straight off the printer. Um, as you can see here, it's matte. It's a matte finish on the outside, but on the inside of it, it was glossy. Um, we basically poured our uh, food safe silicone that we used and then what we used this for was basically to make chocolates um, and this actually pretty, you know came out really good um, very easy process um, so you can use basically your 3d printing we designed the mold in house we uh, we poured it with the with the food safe silicone and then we basically had chocolates that we made which was actually pretty cool um, so just wanted to kind of share that with you guys quick video this week um, so hopefully you enjoyed this thanks so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, again it was a really quick and easy uh, thing to do we we designed it in uh, SolidWorks we basically brought in the file into GrabCAD uh, printed it on our J series which is the polyjet machines um, in Vero Black, we printed it with a glossy finish uh, so that we didn't have to do any post-process work to it other than just basically cleaning that part. Um, we poured it with a food-safe uh, silicone material, and then we actually poured chocolate into that mold that we created, right? So, I mean, it was a great process. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I will have insight um, tips and tricks for, for you guys next week for sure, uh, so stay tuned. Again, if you guys have any other things that you'd want to see, just feel free to reach out to me, right? Uh, Buildpart at CATI.com uh, or visit our website at CATI.com. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.